It's the year of Waymark gear. Why? In this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly why I'm going with Waymark backpacks. And if you stick around to the end of this video, we're gonna hear from a couple of friends about it as well. Hey Rob. Hi everyone. <laughs> What's up Rob? Hey, it's Doug with... <sighs> What's up Rob? It's awesome. Let's roll. As you've gathered from the thumbnail and the actual title of this video, I'm here to talk about Waymark Gear Company and what I think about them and how they're gonna be my backpack of 2022. But let's start with a story. Rewind, circa 2014-ish. I was going through a time in my life where I wasn't in the greatest place, so I decided to leave the country for months. It was my intention to live out of a backpack and hike around some different country somewhere. This is what I decided to do. I went to REI. I was looking at backpacks because that's just where I knew people bought backpacks. As I was looking, I came across this Kelty Coyote 50 backpack. Is there anything special about it? Not really, I thought it looked cool. And at that time I was kind of into like prepping and military stuff. So the, you know, the coyote tan is kind of like something I really thought was cool. The mistake I made in buying this backpack is I never got measured. I never asked one of the associates to measure me to see if I actually needed a certain size backpack. I didn't even know that was a thing. So I bought the bag, I packed it full of stuff and I hopped on a plane to Nepal. One big, thing, one big thing I learned about an improper sized backpack, this thing killed my traps up here because since it was too long for me, all the weight was settling here instead of my hips. But I got through it. I hiked up and down all kinds of mountains out there. I hiked all over the Himalayas for three months. And when I got home, I thought, you know, walking around outside with a backpack, it's pretty cool. After I got back and learned in the grand scheme of things that you know all is nothing and nothing is all and everything was now right in the world I decided to do some research what kind of a backpack am I actually looking for let's get measured this time let's get a pack that actually fits so back to REI I go once I was measured it turned out I was an 18 inch torso which puts me in between a lot of sizes and after some time and a lot of research, I decided to go with the Gregory Optic 48. This pack, this launched me into the backpacking life and finding the love of being outdoors with everything I needed on my back. 48 liter, I ended up going with the medium instead of the small. And this has been the most comfortable pack that I have ever worn, no matter how heavy this thing got. So for years, this was the pack. Got lots and lots of videos of me using this pack. I got a review of this pack too, if you're interested, right up there. But now my backpacking has started to evolve and I wanted more. So back online, more research. Now the Gregory works for just about everything for warmer weather. As I started to get into wintertime backpacking, wintertime camping, I needed more space. I needed something to carry heavier quilts, more bulky items. So I found ULA. The cool part about ULA is I was able to get online. I actually worked with like a ULA broker. Yeah, that's actually a thing. And I custom designed a pack. I'm talking my own colors. I even had it embroidered with like my channel name on it at the time. And I gave them my general measurements and the pack was put together and sent to me. And it was expensive. So now this big boy, like 65 liters, 20 liters bigger than my Gregory, it did. It fits everything. It's huge. It's got a removable hip belt that's actually inside here right now. Uh, X-Pack material. Yeah, I chose all these colors. The only issue is I was never actually sized for this pack, so it's actually a little bit long for me. 
which makes it just a little bit less comfortable than my than my Gregory 48. So now I only use this pack in the winter time and even then I kind of try not to. So now I'm kind of stuck with this awesome pack that doesn't quite fit me right with my stupid name on it. Now at this point, I'm pretty well covered, right? I got a pack for winter, I got a pack for summer. I'm pretty much set. I should have gotten the Gregory 58, but that's that ship has sailed. Whoa. Enter frameless packs. Those are starting to kind of hit the market. And I had the opportunity to buy a pretty good frameless pack in about a 40 liter. Now my gear loads are starting to be a little bit more lightweight. They're starting to be a lot more refined, so I didn't necessarily need a 48 liter pack, my Gregory pack. And plus the Gregory pack was heavy considering what I was now getting into. Enter Mountain Smith and their frameless Zerk 40. Awesome pack, lightweight, there's no frame. The Gregory is a framed pack and the ULA is a frame pack. This is, has no frame, there's just like a, a little pad here. And this is a very efficient pack. It's, uh, it's, it's scaled down to be as efficient. It's scaled down to be as efficient as possible. No extra zippers, no extra pockets, no extra straps. This is a very streamlined pack. But it wasn't very comfortable, at least not for me. Now the Zerk 40 sits in the closet a majority of the time. I did take it out to the Red River Gorge last summer, uh, you know, to meet up with a bunch of guys, and, and the pack worked pretty well. But like I said, if it's gonna carry some weight, not that comfortable. So, back to the Gregory, for the most part. So for years, it was the Gregory Optic 48 and the ULA, and it was fine. Fast forward to spring 2021. And since I'm such a, you know, a giant YouTube star. <laughs> Waymark Gear Company, specifically Devin Ashby, who coincidentally is the general manager for Waymark, reached out to me and said, hey Rob, um, we got this new pack coming out. It's kind of a day pack, it's a 28 liter. It's small, frameless, no hip belt, called The Mile. Would you be interested in using this pack? I said, yeah. I mean, so it showed up spring of 2021, and this became my primary pack for that whole summer because my loadout and my whole gear system was scaled way down, which meant size and weight, and it fit perfectly in this bag. Up to two days, two nights. The only thing I was limited by was capacity for more days and more nights worth of food. This backpack became my all-time favorite backpack for 2021. If there was a trip I was going on and I could get it in this bag, I would take this rather than anything else I had, including the Gregory. I actually made a review video of this pack. If you wanna see my thoughts on the mile, check out the video right up there. I'll also link my video down in the description of this one. But as far as the mile goes, this has gained a lot of popularity, so I have a couple of friends who wanna share their thoughts on the mile. What's up, Rob? Real quick, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about my favorite Waymark pack, and that is the mile. Hey, it's Doug with Backcountry Pilgrim. I am here on Rob's channel talking about my Waymark mile backpack. Hi, everyone. Tim from Backpacking with Buckley. My friend Rob asked me to uh, do a little clip to talk a little bit about what is one of my go-to packs. And I tell you what, for day hikes and overnights, that uh, answer has become very easy to quickly fire off. And that is the Waymark Mile. There's quite a few reasons why I like my Waymark Mile so much. But I think other than that it's a very comfortable pack, the thing I like the most is just how versatile it is. This pack has easily become my absolute favorite day pack. The Waymark Mile is the go-to pack for spring and summer. Again, day hikes, overnights. Now, I've also used it on some overnight trips. It does great for those as well. Um, for a quick overnight trip, this pack is 
it's awesome. It's the most used pack I have right now, so. There's just so much to this little thing, and yet it remains very simple. I also use it for, uh, if I'm gonna go for a long uh, drive, you know, if I'm traveling, it's my car bag. The pack itself is just constructed so well. I love the eco pack. I love the responsibility that they're doing with their fabrics of trying to use things that are a little more recycled. Stood the test of durability. So I just wanna give some props to Waymark. Way to go, Waymark. And I absolutely love it. And that is why I love the Waymark Mile. Now that is some credibility. Thanks guys, I appreciate your thoughts on it. Thanks for sharing. If you're looking for the ultimate overnight and day pack, the Mile, it, it really is it. At this point, I got a lot of backpacks. And since I like the Mile so much from Waymark, I started doing some research. I like research. I'm looking for a pack just like the mile with a little bit more capacity because I want more room for more food. A couple things about Waymark. A US based company based right out of Utah. All in-house manufacturing. They sew all their packs right there in Utah. Now are they the lightest packs in the world? No, but that's not their aim. What they're looking for is to get the best ratio of lightweight and durable packs. So yes, not the lightest weight, but probably some of the most durable packs you will find. It is their intention to get you a pack that's gonna go 2,000 miles or more. It's pretty legit. So I found the UL40 by Waymark. I did purchase this with my own money because I like the mile so much, I decided to invest on a bigger pack. Now, it's essentially a scaled up version of the mile, except, you know, it doesn't have the pocket, it, you know, and it has load lifters, things like that. But I have friends who are kind of year of Waymark gear as well. So let's get a little take on some of those fellas. The snow is melting. That means spring's around the corner. It's almost time for backpacking season. I'm super excited this year because I have a new favorite backpack. What's up, Rob? So for me, why I picked the Waymark backpack for 2022 comes down to truly three different reasons. But my new backpack that I'm so excited about this year is from Waymark Gear Company. The first is this year I said I was gonna go with a lighter pack for the summer. I've always been a big pack guy and they have some sweet selection on smaller and leader size packs. The second reason is, is I wanted to use a new material. I know they got the ultra material now too, but they also have the eco pack material. They've kind of done that with a lot, all their packs and then they're dabbling in the ultra packs. But I wanted to try a new material, kind of step into something new because that's what's hot on the market now. It has this cool looking eco pack uh, fabric. My favorite thing is it has this heavy duty mesh. This thing is bulletproof. And also for third thing, I wanted to support a cottage company, an American cottage company. I like to buy my gear from people and companies that I know have integrity. And I know Devin and Waymark do just that. Appreciate all they've done for the community. And I was really excited to rep them this year. And that's why I picked a Waymark pack. Hey Rob, thanks for having me. Anyone who's seen any of my recent videos knows that I'm a huge fan of Waymark gear. And for good reason. Their customer service is second to none. And if you reach out to them with a question about a piece of gear, the response time is amazing. And they really go out of their way to make sure their customers are taken care of. The Mile is my go-to super ultralight two to four day pack. And it's also the perfect day pack. I've traveled and hiked across the country using the Mile as my only piece of luggage. And it fits in an overhead compartment on a plane perfectly. One of the few bags of this size that features load lifters, which make a huge difference in my style of hiking. If I were to through hike one of the Triple Crown trails, the Evolve 35 liter would be my go-to ultralight pack. Now made using the ultra material, this pack can take an amazing beating and keep on ticking. Trust me, I tried destroying this bag. For early spring or late fall trips or adventures where I want to bring a colder rated quilt and maybe a few luxury items and need the extra volume, the frameless 40 liter through UL is my go-to bag. The craftsmanship and attention to detail is what makes Waymark Gears bags stand out from the rest of the crowd. In my recent conversations with general manager Devin Ashby, he states that they've got some tweaks coming up to some of their backpack designs. So stay tuned and check out their website. Back to you, Rob. If that is not a ringing endorsement on the Waymark Gear Company, not only from their, their quality standards to their company philosophies, their packs in general are amazing packs. So for me, 
2022, and it sounds like a couple of others, this is the year of Waymark gear. So for overnights and day use, it's the mile. For multiple nights, two, three days, maybe four, it is the UL40, all made by Waymark. Now I'm not affiliated with Waymark. Yes, I know Devin, the GM, but you know I don't get paid. I'm you know I'm, I'm not I'm not a I'm not cool enough to be paid by companies like Waymark. But I will tell my viewers you about products that really hold true for me and that really have the quality levels that I'm looking for. So this year on all my trip videos, you will see this pack or the mile. Are you a Waymark user? Let me know your experiences down in the comment area below. If you have questions about the packs I have, about Waymark in general, leave those questions down in the comment area below as well. And maybe if I get a little crazy, I may do a little double duty. We can go backpack and front pack. This is affectionately known as the Milos. Appreciate you coming along. Thanks for listening. Again, you have any questions, comments for me, leave them down in the comment area below. And if you like this channel, go ahead and hit, go ahead and hit subscribe right down there. And if you wanna support the channel, links below in the description where you can do that. Otherwise, get outside, backpacking season is here.